In this final tutorial, we're going to take a look at answering the questions in your casebook. Uh, this is part two of your case analysis. So using the Excel workbook you just created, you should answer the four questions uh, listed here. Um, the questions that you answer should be written in a separate Microsoft Word document. So what that means is you're going to uh, you know, type in your numbers uh, using um, the discount rate listed and then make your decision based on the, the data uh, that gets calculated as a result and, and then answer the questions about the overall net present value, uh, when the project will break even, and should EMB move forward with the project or not. Uh, so, so most of these are, are fairly straightforward. Um, you know, whether or not EMB should move forward with the project depends on whether or not uh, the overall net present value is zero or greater. So again, that's our decision criteria. Um, for our cost-benefit analysis, the project is economically feasible if the overall net present value is zero or greater, taking into account the time value of money. So zero or greater is a thumbs up, we move forward. Less than zero for the overall net present value is a thumbs down and we do not move forward. So you're going to do a couple of uh, what-if analyses, you know, change the discount rate, and then you're also going to change some of the, um, uh, the benefits listed and uh, see what happens as well. Um, so, so, you know, again, uh, this is fairly straightforward. Uh, when, when you, uh, you know, use your workbook, I do not want you to create a separate worksheet for each, um, you know, each answer. So I don't want you to copy your worksheet. In other words, I do not want you to, to do this. So, um, you know, here's my cost benefit analysis worksheet and I can just uh, right click on it and hit copy, um, move or copy to create another copy of it. And we'll have it show up before this sheet. We'll say create copy, hit OK. And, you know, I might do something like cost benefit analysis um, uh, Q1. And then, you know, I'll do cost benefit analysis um, question two. Um, I do not want you to do this, all right? So this is what you should not do. You should only have one tab in your workbook uh, for cost-benefit analysis, and, and that one tab uh, is going to be used to, to display and, and show, um, you know, and calculate all the different net present values uh, for each question. So when you turn in your workbook, you should only have five worksheets. You know, what, whatever the discount rate is set to, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, we're we're going to, you know, be able to calculate it and, and see if it's uh, uh, created correctly or not. So don't worry about what you set your discount rate to when you turn in your, your workbook, but you should have the, you know, only five uh, worksheets. So getting back to our, our questions, uh, question four is, is slightly different than the others. And, and in question four, it's asking... Um, at what discount rate is the project economically feasible? And this is a, a slightly different question than the others. So, um, you know, we're asking to find the discount rate to four decimal places of accuracy at which our project becomes economically feasible. Well, economic feasibility occurs when our overall net present value is equal to zero. So, you know, one approach would be to just try and you know, guess some discount rates and so, okay, you know, what happens if I type in 20%? Well, the overall net present value changed. How about 25%? Changes again. Um, how about uh, 40%? It goes negative. Uh, so now we know the, the, the overall net present value of zero is somewhere between 25 and 40%. <clears throat> well, you know, I could guess over and over and over again and get pretty close, but but Excel has a um, a nice tool built into it. If you go up to the uh, to the data menu and you select this uh, this what if analysis button, it has a goal seek feature that's built into it, which will automatically guess millions and millions of, of values for us and um, display uh, the output 
uh, that we're interested in. So I'm going to do what if analysis. I'm going to select goal seek. And for this particular goal seek, I want to set a cell. In this case, the cell I want to set is C18. Okay. And I want to set it to a value of zero by changing my discount rate. All right, so I'm setting my overall net present value, which is cell C18, to a value of zero, which is the moment at which the project becomes economically feasible, by changing the discount rate. So this will help give us the answer to the question at what discount rate will the project become economically feasible. I go ahead and I select OK. Um, uh, I'm going to hit OK one more time. It did find a solution. And you see my overall net present value is zero. And, and just you can see in the formula bar that it calculated this number out to, uh, you know, looks like um, eight or nine or ten decimal places of accuracy. I'm just going to change the format to show four. And so, you know, now you can see the discount rate, 28.2481%, um, for which uh, the overall net present value is equal to zero. Now, your answer will be different than what I have displayed here. Um, the question itself uh, in the case book asks you to calculate the, the, you know, when the overall net present value is equal to zero, what discount rate is equal to zero for, you know, given a particular set of circumstances. So um, if your numbers differ from my, my numbers, that, that's, that's expected. Um, you have to, to calculate the, the numbers on your own. Um, so go ahead and uh, answer all four questions in a separate Word document. And then when you turn in your assignment, you'll turn in two files. You'll turn in your Microsoft Excel workbook, and you'll also turn in your Microsoft Word document with all of the answers to the questions. Both files should be submitted via e-learning. This concludes the final Microsoft Excel casebook tutorial. Thank you.